Okay, so uh, before we start with the video, uh, I'd like to bring to your attention uh, the uh, my subscribers. Uh, a lot of people are watching the channel, but very few people are actually subscribing. Uh, it would be a great help uh, if you could uh, sort of subscribe. Uh, let me just... Uh... So... And what we see here is the ages of the people who are actually um, uh, viewing it. Uh, you'll see that the age is uh, slightly older, around 45 to uh, 65 plus. Uh, so you might find the channel helpful if you want to get an idea about trading. Trading is a risky uh, activity um, and there are ways in which you can go about, about doing it. Um, if you are, want to know more, then simply just drop me a line in the comments and I'll point you uh, to the right direction. Uh, but uh, overall, what we're trying to do is to get the figure up on the subscribers. So thank you very much for your patience. Uh, and please subscribe, share, comment, and uh, uh, hit the notification button, as they say. <laughs> Okay, hi there. Uh, it's the morning. Uh, I'm going to show you briefly what I'm doing trading. It's uh, it's nine o'clock. Um, you, you, you probably see I'm up. Oddly enough, I wasn't really up uh, to start with. I came in at this level. Uh, the price was a bit, well, as you can see, it went as low as 69. It's now 107. Uh, I came in one pound a point. And then I scaled it up to four pounds a point. And then I added a little five pound a point as it came up. And then I added another five here. That's the last one, which I uh, sort of added. This is the DAX, uh, by the way, as you know. Uh, now, we're on the hourly chart. Uh, I just want to show you something here. Why, why did I, or why have I scaled in? Because normally when you scale in, to be honest with you, they call that anti-martingale. Yeah, um, martingale, ma martingale uh, trading is not a great trade to do if you're doing it outright. Okay, by outright, I mean directional. That is, you want to go long, you want to go short. Okay, uh, anti-martingale is when the price is going against you and you keep adding to your position it's extremely dangerous to do okay um sorry wrong martingale Mar martingale um, is when you uh, add to your position when it's losing when it's going against you the idea that if it comes back to the original price because you've scaled in lo at a lower price uh, it will go more than break even the danger is obviously that if, if it's going against you, number one is telling you that you probably, you know, you, the probability of you being wrong is a lot higher now. Uh, and number two, uh, the uh, impact of leverage uh, really can decimate your account. Okay, so generally speaking, I try not to do Martin Gal techniques uh, when trading outrights. I do anti marking down. And that is scaling up as you're winning. Yeah. So, but it's good to space it out. I think you space it out that the uh, the, the anti mark marking down and in a disciplined manner. Uh, you could also do it in terms of when you're hitting your profit target, sort of scaling out of your positions, scaling in, scaling out. And that is all part of that uh, element, that third element in trading. Yeah. Which is working out what your entries are going to be, managing the trade and uh, working out what your exit's going to be and the levels for your exit. For me, it's very fluid. Uh, I constantly change my stop losses based on how I see the market playing, okay? Uh, I also constantly change my limit order 
because sometimes when you're in the market, the, the market patterns or the, the candlestick patterns change. Now, uh, generally, I like to trade off ladders. Uh, in my old videos, you see me trading off the ladders. Uh, there was a, a broker there was really good, gave you level two. Uh, and when you trade off the ladders, you see a little bit more market depth. You see all the people on the bid, all the people on the offer. And I, I like it, it's good. I, I do like it. Uh, when uh, I used to tr tr trade on the trading floor, uh, there wasn't a big emphasis on um, there wasn't a big emphasis on charting packages anyway. Uh, they mainly looked at the uh, depth of market. On the uh, Martingale uh, 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 trading technique, that is adding to losing positions, they would do that a lot when they would do spread trading and butterfly spreads. Because with the butterfly spread, it's a bit like an elastic band. It will go out and it will come back in again. It will go out and come back in again. Because uh, they're sort of aligned with each other, yeah? And so what you, you tend to happen is that when it went out, you just add and add and add and add your position. And by the time it come back in again, yes, you'd make massive money. Massive money. Uh, and, and it's quite a good way. And it's recognised as a relatively safer way to trade, okay? So uh, let's go back onto the chart now. And I'm going to go on to the daily. Now, you know, why did I enter long? <laughs> I've already told you I have the, a bit of a bias sometimes for going long, which is a the person, etc. Uh, and also, I also told you that my over sentiment has been bearish. So that's contrary to my overall sentiment. Okay. So uh, the reason why I've got into my current position uh, is, and remember, it was going against me when I started out in the morning. Because after the hoi polloi of uh, yesterday, we go to the daily, which I'm going to go to, where's the daily? Can you see the daily? There, it's there, isn't it? Right. When you see the daily, you know, what you'll see there is like yesterday was a great hammer. Yeah? It's been going down all this time. And oddly enough, even while it was going down and I was bearish, I, that was a capitulation bearish uh, sentiment. Because um, generally, it's been trading in a range. If we go to the weekday, I only go to week. Where do you go week? To the other week here. Right. So it was like, oh, it's not showing, it didn't show it, it's clearly here. But the, the market's going up, down, up, down, up, down, fell out of bed there, fell out of bed there. And it has been trading like in a strange range around this period here. Okay, and, I've, and for some time now, as you can see, it's trading at the lower end of this uh, channel, if you like. So I was always thinking it was going to go on the upside, but it kept on dropping out and dropping out. So now as we zoom in uh, to the daily. Okay, so here, you, uh, there, there you see it, yeah? So it's come up to that level here, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down. And for quite some time, I'd say up to about here, all this trading here, all these trading days, so from uh, beginning of August to the um, end of August, you know, I was expecting the market to go up, yeah? But it hadn't, it's been sliding down. We could put that down to uh, the holidays, perhaps, okay? Uh, but it's, it's hard to know, it's hard, it's hard to know. Uh, but that was my, what, what I was uh, bullish at first and then turned bearish as you can see down here, especially things like this, okay? Well here, we've got a bit of a, a bearish sign, okay? Moreover, and I like these type of trades, I can indicate when I'm gonna be wrong, yeah? If the price goes, after that, that trading session, if the price goes down to there, then I'm wrong, okay? Now the question is, if I'm wrong, how much uh, am I prepared to lose? How much am I happy to lose? Will I to be able to fight another day? Okay? And I've just worked out that if I go 15, I'm happy. So it was about 5,000 um, yesterday. But I go 15, which is 30%. Actually, that's my winnings, my total winnings about for the month. Uh, but, you know, it's 30%. I could still recover. I could still recover. There's something I could show you, like a, a table, which shows you how how far down it is. It's how much you've got to get back. Because obviously, you know, if, if you're 
if you've got ten thousand pounds and 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 your equity drops to five thousand pounds, okay, uh, you've got to make ten times as much back just to get back to break even, okay. Uh, so there's the, those things you need to worry about. But I'm prepared to take the loss, and this is it. I don't want to go for the roller coaster of yesterday. I'm quite happy to say I've lost. This is how much I've lost. I can recover. Can recover. So. The next question is, so we've got that uh, element uh, answered. So the next question we need to ask is, where do we get out? What is our exit level? Some people say, oh, you can do three times the amount as you're, you're prepared to risk or five times the amount of risk. I don't care. Just look at where the price is. Yeah, look at where the price is. See what you feel is quite good and comfortable. These are pivot points here. I don't know if it will come up to that level there. Okay, R, R2. Resistance to daily, uh, 326, seems okay, seems okay. I mean, that is a hammer. It's got to mean something, hasn't it, really? So, you know, if, if, it, if it's double that, it's going to be up, up to about here, uh, three, 400, yeah? So maybe R3 isn't out of the question, okay? So R2 is a good probability. R1 is almost given. What probability would we give on that? I don't know. But I certainly know, if, even if I've got R1, it would be happy days, because that's 150 points, okay? A 15 pound a point in one day. So this is where we are at the moment. This is what I'm on today at the moment. And it's, a, you might be able to see the time. It's 10 past nine. Um, and this is it. So this, this this shows you the gain on this particular trade. This is my first sort of trade in the morning, okay. And uh, so that it's going to be equal to that. So sometimes if I have a bad day and I've lost lots of lots of money, but this level here will show that I'm in profit. What it means is I'm not, I'm in profit on that trade, but previous trades have meant that I've had a loss. It has, as you can see, <laughs> it's a good thing about this. It's called. Um, Grow real time or something. Uh, what I like about it is, for example, you know, here it's showing that I've made no trades. It only takes into account the round trips that I do. Yeah, just the round trips that I do. So, some of you probably be thinking, oh, look, it's sitting on the profit of, say, 700 and uh, it's not going to take it, and it's only 10 past nine during the day. <laughs> I know it might sound like the previous day when I had all that wahala, yeah. When I had all that wahala the previous day, but that was because my intention was that it was got to go to the extra fifteen points uh, in order to get something, yeah. But that was my wahala. But here, what I've done is my uh, third element of my trading thing, which I've accepted the risk, yeah. If I lose one thousand five hundred pounds today. I'm okay with it. I'm, I'm perfectly okay with it because I think I'll just slowly increment to recover uh, over the next week. Although, generally speaking, I'm not near my target this week. I'm, I'm up uh, over about 1,500 quid uh, on, on the trading for the week. Uh, I was wanting to have a lot more. Had I've traded uh, properly the other day, it, I would have been a bit closer to my target. Uh, so, oh, I'm not telling you what my targets are, because they sound ridiculous, and I'd rather try and show you what's being achieved. So, um, yeah, so that, that let's get this out of the way, just distraction. That's another thing, you know. It is dangerous to trade off your PL. It is, it is, it is, it is, it is. I like it. Uh, CMC used to have this thing where they just showed you what the price was, yeah, and I just used to have that up, the price ticker, okay? This here is showing you what the time and sales is, yeah? Uh, how many times, what, what size has been bought, yeah? Uh, and if it's been bought or sold, so two, two lots have been bought there, uh, three lots have been sold there, two lots have been, whatever. As you see that going down, you can see it going, and the, and, and the speed in which it's going down tells you the volume of trades which are going on and being around. Today, there isn't much news coming out. Uh, there isn't much news coming out, so, uh, I'm not expecting anything major or conventions. Tomorrow is non-farm day. 
that's it really. Uh, that that's all I want to say. I'm just giving you an explanation as to why I've got gone into this particular trade this morning. Uh, what my risk parameter is. Uh, I'm happy with that risk. Seriously, I, if I if I get stopped out, I'm not going to panic on it. I'm I'm not. I'm, you know, I'm okay with it. And once you're okay with the risk, I think everything else falls into place. I think being okay with the risk is a bit like that chap doing. Uh, if you look at my thing about unblocking uh, barriers to trading, uh, it's about releasing that fear, the fear of losing, the fear of being wrong. In fact, even the fear of being wrong is the most uh, important thing. You've got to embrace being wrong. Okay? Very important. Okay, guys, uh, that's it, really. I'm not doing another uh, uh, video yet. I might do one tomorrow, Friday, and you'll see a complete week of my trading and whether or not it means anything to you, okay? If you have any uh, questions, please uh, uh, put it in the comments, um, or if you want to make any comments, that's good. Uh, please subscribe and uh, hit the notification bell. I won't only do, I won't just do trading, I do other things too, okay? Well, there you go, that's a nice uh, end session. Um, there's not much to say really, so I'll stop it. Hi, okay, hi, just a quick one, just to get through you know, my end of day uh, trading, uh, which I've done in the morning, it's my afternoon session, and I'm finished now, I'm, I'm just I'm fed up, I'm just fed up, I'm gonna talk you through exactly what happened. Uh, let me take you to the share of the screen. Uh, let me do this quickly. Uh, here, yeah, share. Okay, let's get uh, CNBC out. What we can have in there? Nah. So, what happened was that um, same thing what happened to me the other day. Uh, as you saw me when I was in the market, I was uh, it went up again. I let it, I let it go up, uh, and uh, up to this point is about one thousand. Yeah, if you checked the video earlier, it was about 700. It got up to there, I was up to 1,000. Then it slipped down. I'm like, no, nah, as you go, same thing again. And then in the end, I said, okay, um, it's going down. I came out and I shorted it, but I shorted it a bit low because it came up to that pivot point and it wasn't too short. So all in all, I just walked away with, uh, I think it's about, say about 300 pounds profit on that particular uh, trade a bit peed off I then started trying to muck around trying to you know see if I could short it or maybe get out gave up then at this level here I, I went long and I was just, once again asleep on my couch I've not been greatly well to be honest I keep sleeping during the day but I, I just let it ride and I let it ride and 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 ride up to about there it's about just under a thousand up it it done this this is before some news I can't remember the news what it was oh yeah it was the trade figures us trade figures yeah uh so then i started getting bearish and i shorted it but it was hovering around it was hovering around there for a while this must be the hourly chart i don't know 15 minutes chart okay it's hovering around there for 15 minutes and uh between here and here, I was just jobbing in, jobbing out, okay? So long story short, I ended up the day with uh, five, 500. I'm just gonna bring the, uh, the stuff. In fact, I'll show you my equity curve, first of all. You see the, this is it, this is more like it. I was gonna say it, don't remember getting into loss. So, yeah, it's gone. There I was making the money. There, I've lost it all. Jumped in, made a dead load back up to 900. Tried to chip in for a bit more, and then <laughs> I started doing that silly jobbing stuff. Because in a way, I was a bit impatient. I can't be waiting for the price to go down. And I was jumping in, jumping out, and I was watching the video at the same time. So I'm giving it all back. Yeah, my bad, as they say. So that was the equity curve uh, for the week. So far, it's this, yeah, well, let's struggle there. So now coming in now with uh, my sort of breakdown of the trades today, 
Uh, what can we see? Uh, so it's 53%. Yeah. It started literally in the morning when it went up to around uh, between 800 and 1,000. I was 100% on the money. Yeah. Just, should have just taken it, really. I think what you, know, you should have a daily stop, the maximum amount you're prepared to lose. And I think really I'm going to have to reintroduce um, uh, a profit stop. Yeah. I think thousand pounds if you trade on the small account which i'm trading i think old stop yeah and because the amount of work it takes you know when you're making the money uh and you get it quickly you, you you start to think it's easy to make that money and it isn't easy okay it isn't easy uh and then you just spend the whole day working 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 getting back is that what you could have had in the morning or slightly less so as you can see here 28 trades, 15 are winning, 13 are losing. This is the overall profit for the day, okay? Uh, the gain loss ratio, 1.6. Suppose it was a profitable. Um, lot of worst, loss of worst trade, 159. Too bad, okay? And uh, gain of best trade, 210. Not too bad. Uh, that's it, really, guys. Uh, let me just uh, stop the sharing. Oh, come out, yeah. Yeah, that's it. Um, I might do a brief one, just the last one. I'm not going to do this every day or week or anything like that. But I'm just going to do the last one maybe tomorrow uh, so you can just see how my whole week went. But overall, the week, it's not much. Um, it's overall, the whole week at this moment in time, current week, is... Uh, The whole week at the moment is 1,600 quid. Yeah, uh, for 110 trades. Yeah. So each time I go into the market, it works out that I'm making 15 pound a trade. Okay. Okay then, thank you for your patience and uh, I'll do a quick one tomorrow. And uh, tomorrow I'll do